Shedding from dead weight. See, when it comes to dead weight and when it comes to shedding, you must shed away from this shit. Whether it's a person you intermingle with, whether it's a place you intermingle with, or a thing that you intermingle with. Now, once you get to the process of elimination, you start to realize what you pretty much have when it comes to your ways of dealing with these certain perspectives or these certain individuals within your life. See, when it comes to shedding dead weight, dead weight you don't want to be around nothing that's dead or that's not bringing life to a circumstance or a situation. Now, take into consideration, you hanging around with certain individuals, <clears throat> all these individuals are in any way, shape, or form trying to build, or these individuals are just lost into their desires or lost into some weak-ass probability of you basically just going around, hanging with them just because they want you to basically be around with them. Or, take into consideration, are these individuals coming together, creating a platform, or are these individuals just around celebrating failure? day to day time to time so you got to always remember your time is highly important you never want to waste it you never want to waste your time with an individual knowing that shit ain't going nowhere you should always be able to have discernment to see from a mile or a distance away how individuals is coming and how individuals are going to be effective in your life the first time is always going to be a blood it's always going to be a bloody mary for the first time when it comes to the experience with somebody feel me you're always going to go through that virgin stage once that's over with you're going to see how the second outcome play out. That's going to be in life. As these individuals, yeah, that's the second perspective. Are these individuals bring a life or are these individuals bring a death, which is going to be the third persuasion. The third, see, death comes in threes, birth, life, death. So once you get to, once you, once you pretty much three strikes you out. So once you see an individual, how they come in and how they pretty much endeavor, well, it, it's not even going to take you back to cheating. Cheating is already death. For me, that's already death and shit. But if you see an individual within your life and they not pretty much are in no way, shape or form trying to like create or like, you know, create a journey where you guys can kind of like kind of like come together, build together, work together. You know, if y'all got if you don't see no iron team in that situation, if, if you don't see no um, if you see iron team in that situation, you know, let go of these individuals for me. Because there's no iron team for me. Y'all either going to be a team or this individual is going to be someone that's have their own individualistic natures that they bring around you. And of course. You ain't getting no piece of the cake. You ain't getting no piece of the pie. All you're doing is pretty much sharing a piece of your pie and adding it towards their equation. And when you in a situation of wrong place, wrong time, or guilty by association, this is how shit play out. You mixing and mingling your energies with a certain individual, feel me? And you wasn't even supposed to be with this individual. You're supposed to basically be handling business, stand on business. But yet, you want to be around this individual, and this individual is basically dragging you down. That's where you got to pretty much start to separate. And that's where you got to realize that this individual is not for you. This individual is just pretty much here to use your time and use your energy. And you must protect.